Hello everybody, welcome back to Ostreve. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu, and in this episode we're going to continue on with our little playthrough of Ostreve. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave a like. If you are liking it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively, so if you could show your support, man, that would be greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, basically in this episode, we're just going to continue on, obviously, expanding our little town. Um, obviously a couple of people are still having issues with food, which I don't fully understand, because we, obviously we've got a bit. I mean, look, we've got loads of food in here. I think they just need to come and get it. So depending on where they are, I mean, obviously if they're both working, they just might not have been able to stock up on their food yet. So, yeah, obviously in the last episode, yeah, again, we're still struggling here a little bit with the whole pig situation. Trying to get them the food down here. But what I'm going to do is speed up time a little bit. Again, if it still lags and judders a little bit, apologies for that. Like I said, I am trying to tweak things on a daily every time I record. Just to try and solve that issue. But unfortunately, obviously, it's just a little bit of trial and error at the minute. I don't fully understand why it's doing it, but it is. Uh, right, so we're getting stone. Which is used for a couple of buildings. Um, also, because of the warehouse... I don't know if to get another warehouse up, because I don't know if you can actually, yeah, take from another warehouse. So we can actually get more warehouses. I'm just thinking, obviously, in terms of, obviously, like, like stone. Can you put stone in there? I don't know if to start getting another little bit of a warehouse down here for certain stock. Oh, what's our boat conditions like? They're all good. Uh, chicken coop is completed. Right, so what we can do here... Is we can actually click on here and if we go to if we say 15 and 15 right and then if we go relocate oh there we go automatically does it awaiting 15 and 15 sweet that's excellent so hopefully in time they'll get them over once we get a worker in there uh, no I don't want worker as man just as woman but laborers can be man or woman um, look, if I click on this and then go here and then put apply to all, it should apply to this building as well. Yes, it does. Right, so, yeah, so we want to get wheat in there. We want to stock up on wheat. Uh, which is, a the, the this is the problem at the minute. Obviously, we've got wheat here, which is fine. Uh, look, obviously, I'm trying to cut down on the pigs a little bit because obviously they're eating a lot. So if I can keep it just as 10, because all we really get from them is uh, sort of um, like the meat and sallow. So we don't really need that many pigs in there, really. So if I just keep that halfway, it might save us on the food a little bit. And obviously, we've got, so look, we've got tons of meat. Uh, are we actually... Yeah, who's coming to collect this meat? Anybody? Got loads of sunflower oil here as well. Yeah, the people should be coming to get it. Uh, so the next building, I think, the wagon shed should be being built. Yeah, that's in queue, but it should be coming to start it. Obviously, I'm sure the forestry people are taking care of the trees. Got to take care of the trees around that one, and then we'd have three and three. Uh, they're already starting to harvest, so that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to try this little combination here of buckwheat and wheat. Because as you can see, buckwheat is 60-20. And that is 50-60. So I'm going to try that and that and then fallow. And we'll see how that gets on. Obviously, we do need more people, to be honest. Because we actually need some more labourers. If you have a look at population, we've only got three extra labourers. So... Yeah, we could actually do... Oh, chickens are here. That's nice. So hopefully... Right, hatchling limit should be 30. That's all 30-30. That should be 30-30 as well. Uh, we should be cutting down on these slowly. Because obviously they're bringing wheat over again, which is nice. Uh, but obviously I just want to cut down on the pigs, to be honest. Because... Has he got a pig? Yeah, he's taking a pig. Oh, man. That's quite sad to see. But yeah, I think if we just keep to 10, I think that's a decent amount. 
See, I don't even know whether to maybe do that for these, but I might just leave that for now, because obviously they just have hay, which obviously we always have tons and tons of hay all the time. So I'm going to leave that as is for now. Obviously, we're starting to harvest, so that's cool. Should be having plenty of wheat come in, plenty of potato, tons of wheat up there. That didn't really grow any potato. I don't understand why, because the nutrients is 56, 52, 100. And potato takes 50, 30. See what I mean? I don't quite fully understand that. I don't know why that was a bad yield that year. Oh, yeah, it's house first. Well, yeah, so we're doing another house first. Okay, I thought it was this one next. I skipped one. So, yeah, so I'm hoping to get this house up. Then if we get this wagon shed up, then hopefully we can get this bridge sorted over here. And then we can start laying down some buildings for this uh, limestone. Uh, I also need to lay down, actually, before I do that, the, um, the horse... Is it the horse pasture or something? Because obviously with these wagons, I'm sure they take horses to cart around the wagon. So I guess we want to look into... Uh, if I can see it... Oh, we're going to need that as well, aren't we? Produces horse tack from leather and metal parts. We haven't really got leather yet, though. We're going to get leather from the cows. I'm thinking whether to stop this at 10 as well. Because it seems to take ages to get 20 in there. Nah, nah, I'll leave it for now. Obviously, we can always cut it back when we need to. Uh, I'm sure the horse one was in here, unless it was somewhere else. Stables. A place for breeding horses. Uh, if I can put that here, that would be nice. Oh, please don't tell me you're uneven terrain. Spin that there. Oh, oh, yes. See, I want to put it here, really. If I just move it back a little bit. Uh, I want to spin it, but just a tad. Put that there. See, they can still get to the chicken coop. See, they can still get round here and round for the pigsty. Yeah, I think these pigs, they just eat too much. They just take far too much. I think having ten will be fine. Obviously, we've got so much meat here, it's ridiculous. No one should be hungry. I might even... I've got both of these on pork, haven't I? Yeah. So we're good for that. Uh, I've up people's wages, so obviously they shouldn't... They shouldn't be struggling for money, really, but... I'm struggling for money more than anything, look. Look at that. See, look at the salary we're paying. Look, we're only in the middle of the year. I want these local sales to go up, man. That's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that for now. Hopefully we can get a trader through and trade some of these uh, trade some of these horseshoes. I might get another um, warehouse up, to be honest. Because then if I store away some of uh, these horseshoes, I should be able to keep producing more. And I can store away things like nails and stuff. Uh, just to produce more again. So I'm thinking of building another warehouse, but maybe sort of down here somewhere. Because we've got a little bit of sort of useless land down here, really. So I might get up another warehouse. Um, I might sort of put it like this. I'm trying to keep the road coming like that. Do I really want a warehouse next to a house though? Hmm. I'm trying to sort of keep it away from the housing. Because if I have to, I might build some more houses... Sort of here, here and here, well, at least there and there, if I can fit it in. Uh, maybe I'll bring it back over here to the industrial area again. Because I can always fit it in ne next to here. I can always put it like a back-to-back -back thing here. Uh, I need to spin it just a tad. We can put it here. We're going to have plenty of room here. I'm going to have the markets going up. See, the market might have to stop here and then continue on. See, that's the only problem here now, isn't it? Obviously, I need this bit clear for the trader to come in. So, do I start building a couple of markets? Oh, I could do, to be fair. I could put it sort of here. 
Yeah, so maybe we start flipping... Oh, yeah, but then I've got the trader coming out there as well. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, we should have a bench there. Have we not got a bench on this one? How have we got... How have we got a road back here when these houses are joined back to back? Yeah, we've got benches there. Benches there. I don't understand why we've got a road there if they're joined back to back. I don't fully understand that. Right, I might put another bench here. They don't cost nothing. And obviously, we can have it just sitting pretty here. Another branch there, just for these couple of houses, just to come and sit. Look at the uh, look at the river. Uh, how are we doing on stone? Ninety five. Why are you not working? You're buying food. Don't buy food, bro. You don't want to do that. All right, so the house is going up. More houses, more mean mean more workers. So that's a little bit beautiful. Right, we should be working on to the wagon shed now. So we can get that up, and then obviously once the wagon shed's up and being built, uh, obviously we can start working on getting some wagons built ready for the horses. I'm sure they, the horses cart around the wagons. I'm sure they do. All right, we've got all this. Um... See, I'm guessing as well, with three farms, I'm guessing that's a, quite a decent number because there might be one plot every year or so, which is fallow. So they'll only really still be technically only working two every time. Uh, see, these are working too. See, these are not really working this. I don't get why it's only growing a little bit. That's a strange one, that one. But these have grown nice. Maybe if you... um, I guess maybe if you plough. Maybe if you uh, plough it, then maybe you get a better sort of um, nourishment from it. Like the, you, get, you get the growth. Maybe you get better growth if it's ploughed, but obviously we can't plough unless we turn some of these into oxes. Maybe that's a good thing about growing them up to 20. Maybe we can turn them to maybe get like three oxes and maybe have one ox per farm. But I don't know where the oxes stay. Do they stay in the farm bit here? I, I, I just don't know. Uh, what are the pigs like? Right, we're knocking them down slowly. They've got food. Uh, chickens are climbing. Look, we've got 24 hatchlings and 15. We've got 14 and 17. So they're slowly on the up, which is excellent. Uh, in the farm here, we've got plenty of wheat. Got a little bit of everything here. Bit of sunflower still, bit of potato, bit of buckwheat. I'm guessing they're harvesting the buckwheat, are they? Yeah, here. And this is just mainly just... This is just mainly going to be wheat and buckwheat as well. Right, okay. So maybe we get... Maybe we get a couple on buckwheat now. We'll just get rid of that honey. Can we just sell it? Sunflower oil, fish, potato. Yeah, I want to keep that. I want to keep that. Alright, let's do... Right, so there's buckwheat in there. Let's get rid of these eggs. Because we don't really have... We never normally have that many eggs. You got eggs in there, so I'll leave you. You're getting eggs. You've got eggs. So you've got no eggs. So let's make that buckwheat. I guess it's the same with the chicken meat in a way, isn't it? So let's let's do a couple more pork. That's got no chicken meat. That's got five in it anyway. That's got none. Let's get one as well. All right, let's turn this one out as well for pork. So we've got loads of meat. Uh, we don't have that much. Um, I'm trying to sort of keep them stocked up with as many resources of, as we've got. Because like that, having the chicken in there, if we're not getting a lot of chicken meat, it's a sort of it's a wasted slot, really, isn't it? So at the minute, we should still be getting eggs, but we ain't going to get meat until they hit the maximum. So whereas at least with the pork, we should be turning over a lot of pork, as you can see here. But a lot of pork and sallow. Obviously, you don't have enough slots for everything, so. 
We can stop this, stock this up. I might even, can I put... Can we do like 500 pork in there and even like sallow as well? Because we're getting quite a lot now. So maybe we can bring it over here for storage. Uh, I've got the buckwheat in here. Uh, we never have an overflow of fish. We never have a, like, let's see what we've got. We ain't got beef. We never have an overflow of chicken eggs. We never have an overflow of chicken meat. I can't do dried fish yet. I'm still need to look into that. We never have an overflow of fish. We don't make honey. That has to be imported. We never have an overflow of milk. Uh, we don't make salt. We don't we never really have an, a lot of that. We don't ever really have a lot of overflow of sunflower. It's more sunflower oil. And obviously we never normally have an overflow of wheat. Although I can... See, I don't want to store it there. Because of obviously we've got our... Um, we've got our windmill here. So obviously... I, if I store it over there, they're going to be putting it from here. They take the wheat from there to put it in here. To then take it from here to put it all the way back in here. So, I guess the only thing I can think of, which I guess is not a bad idea. If I have another granary over here, just for wheat. So then at least they can empty out here. Take all the wheat out. And then store it in a granary. I might just do that. I think that's a good idea. And I guess we can always use it further on down the line, I guess, if we ever wanted to. I'd like to try and squeeze it in. If I can. Obviously, because of space and stuff, it's always good to try and keep a little bit of space. What about if we... Oh, it's because it's uneven, damn it. Uh, building something there. Because it's all uneven. See, I might want to make another fields down here, so I don't really want to put it there. Um, but then going up there, you're sort of going too far away again. Um, I should have maybe placed this in sooner. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Doesn't help that it's all uneven terrain here as well. So literally I can only put it here, but I want all these as I want all these here as as much farmland as I can. So obviously if I have to I'll build try and build like another farm over here with another couple of fields and obviously I need to make this clear here. For the bridge as well, so I'll hold off on that for now. We'll just store it we'll just store it in here. We'll get it over in time. Maybe I should make that's not a bad idea. Maybe we make another windmill, so then we'll use it up. But then obviously I still need the wheat for things like here as well. And obviously for these, I don't want to use up too much. Uh, but I guess I need to think of my people. So obviously they're out. I don't understand why these people are always out of food, because their markets are literally right here. How can you not see all that food right there? 580 fish. Jesus Christ, are we not getting any labourers or something? Labourers five. Can you can you sort can you get rid of those fish? Right, empty it, man. Sometimes you have to do that to make it a bit of a priority. I'm not bothered about that. That's fifty, but there's a lot of fish in there that we can get out. We should we need to try and um Get rid of that. I'm not upping anyone's wages again because, obviously, money-wise, we're not doing great. Look, salary's already higher than it was last year. We're making a little bit more here. Yes, trader. Thank you. Please want one. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping they'd want uh, the horseshoes. God damn it. Right, so you're getting that, which is fine. Clothes, clothes are still going up. Well, they're not. They're staying there, but they're not. Obviously, I can't make any more clothes at the minute because I ain't got hemp. Uh, nails are slowly going down, but we should have plenty of... should have plenty of charcoal and stuff. Labourers are gathering firewood. Yeah, we do need some more people, I think. I think we might need some more houses. Uh, let me spin it round here. 
I think we need more people. Definitely need more people. So let's do another... Trying to line it up with that one. Do another two houses. Yeah, that house is a bit big, so I'm going to try and smallen that a little bit. I'm going to try and make it like that. I think it needs to come sort of... Sort of there a little bit. Pull back a little bit. Do that one there, and then we can do one more. Let's just see how it looks. Yeah, so we can snap that one there as well. Yeah, we'll do it. Right, so I want the wagon sheds going up. I just want to try and split it up a little bit. So let's do wagon shed, then house, then bridge, then house, then stable, then house... Then warehouse. Right, what's more important? I want the warehouse here. I'm not too fussed about the bridge at the minute. I think the warehouse is quite important to store some stuff. So we'll have the wagon shed. I want to get that up. And then we'll do it like that. I think that's a, a nice little uh, system we've got going on there. I'm not too fussed about the bridge yet. Because obviously that's just to do with the, uh, the lime. To get this limestone deposit. So that'll be a little bit, that'll be a little bit in the future. Hopefully not too in the future. Right, when it hits winter, I'll activate this just because, obviously just to make sure they don't start planting for any unknown reason. Right, we're still gathering stuff here and there. Right, we've still got 451 here. Can I empty that? Let's get rid of that. Sometimes you have to prioritise it for some reason. Right, that's empty. Right, so stop emptying. So we should have... We should have fish everywhere. Everywhere where I'm selling fish should be stocked full of fish. 40, 25, 220, 405. Yes. There you go. So you shouldn't... We'll get you some variety of food then. Do you know what I mean? Like, we got... Look, we got, we got stuff for days, son. So look, we're even stocking up stuff on here now. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on. Let's uh, make that empty as well. Let's make that empty. Let's empty some of these um, buildings out, man. For some reason, they don't like to empty them out. I don't know why. I'm not emptying these out of wheat. I don't want to empty these out, really, because I want the wheat to stay over here for the windmill. Yeah, that was the idea I had, actually, weren't it? Before, I want to maybe do another windmill. Because I, I can actually do these quite close to the river without it affecting... Yeah, you can't spin it, so it doesn't really matter. Without affecting the, um... Hmm. Oh, what am I going to do over here, exactly? This is a lot of, little, lot of flat land, a lot of plain flat land there. Hmm. Maybe I could do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And come over here. See, I feel like I could get another farm here. With, like, at least another three. Right, so I could probably do a windmill. And sort of tuck it in quite close. possibly do that. We'll have that before the bridge again. Right, this is nearly up and running. 
got no workers there, so let's try and get a worker in. Beautiful. Uh, let uh, minimum wagon f minimum wagon fullness fifty percent. What does that mean? I don't know what that means? Can we order a one wagon? No draft houses to complete an order. What do you mean draft houses? Oh, no draft horses to complete an order. <laughs> draft houses right so we need to get there and let's flip them two rounds so we're going to need to get this stable done before we even sort this out so let's get rid of him then uh, if that's completely emptied let's stop emptying right yeah so we should have 200 in there we've got plenty of sallow and pork here we should be emptying it out though no make empty yeah, really make empty. Like, really, really make it so empty in there. Right, so they're doing well. Right, so let's activate that for next year. You're still going to be getting your stuff. Beautiful. Uh, I don't understand. This is really frustrating with the money side. Because obviously I'm paying you more money. Look how much money we're losing. I mean, let's have a look. 136. Look, we're paying a lot more salary, and we're not getting a lot more in. What I'm going to do, actually, is I might... Hmm. I'm going to up back that, and I'm going to up the house rent again. I'm giving the people more money, but hopefully they can spend more money. Because we're, we're losing money. That's two years in a row now. We've lost 120 something. So. But yet we've made. We've made more this year than last year. But yet we're still losing money. So that's something that we need to sort of keep an eye on. I know we're paying more. We've made a little bit more. We haven't spent as much on import. But we haven't. We're not exporting enough. We're not making enough to export. I think this is the problem. You should not be hungry. You're right next to a freaking market, son. Alright, so we need to do more exports, man. But the only thing I really want to export is my three top earners, which is obviously, as we check, the three main things I want to export is the horseshoe, shoes, and clothes. They're, they're one of, I want them to be my three main exports, but obviously, unless people come and they want to buy it, we can't sell it, I guess. Well, I know they can't fish in the winter, but I would like them to just stay here. Just hopefully you can't. Hopefully they can still get. It never seems to work, this man. He stayed at 95 for ages. No, what's he even doing in there? The freaking stone, bro. Is this glitched or something? Your cart's there. He's just sitting inside. He's not even doing anything. I don't understand. Well, that's completely empty now. It's beautiful. So we should have... Yeah, we should have a bit of stuff in here now. Yeah, we never, we never have a surplus of that as well, to be fair. We never really have a surplus of flour or sunflower oil. So I don't really know why I've got that in there. Seems like all the flour just goes straight to the market. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two guys on the windmill for now, because hopefully when one goes for a rest, the other one should still work. Hopefully. Right, so we should be getting the next house ready. Obviously, I'm making a lot of buildings, so I want to make sure I'm making a lot of nails as well. Tons of charcoal back there. We should still be bringing in loads of wood. 
from over here. We're now down to 54. It was 73, I think. So we are doing a good job there. Pigs are now down to 10, so that's beautiful. So hopefully they won't be eating as much, little greedy pigs. Uh, 27 and 30, 26 and 30, beautiful. So hopefully hopefully with this, this should make uh, double the chicken meat and double the eggs, hopefully. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we've got 11 cows, okay. Um, so yeah, so right guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively. So if you could show your support, man, I would be greatly appreciated. And um, yeah, until the next time, guys, have a good one. Peace out.